Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to look at some photochromic products. We have, in no particular order, a few Zeiss Photo Fusion examples for show and tell. We're going to do a side by side comparison with some Transition 8s and IoT Neochromes. Take a look at some of our own Laramie K flash coated photochromics and a few from Essilor's signature color series. Now, on television and in the magazine ads, beautiful people step out into a beautiful world and their lenses magically and almost instantly change from a crystal clear to a deep dark sunglass. Well, you aren't going to get any of that here. You got my ugly old mug and my driveway out in front of the studio. Let's start out by seeing how long things really do take. All right, I am going to start inside here so that we can all see the timer. And I'm going to go ahead and start that right now. And come on out here. And again, you, you just can't see the timer and I apologize for that, but I'll keep it right there anyway. These have been undercover now for a good five minutes or more. Come around this side and we're going to let them sit for at least a full minute. Then we're going to flip them. Then we're going to give them another minute, flip them over, give them another minute and see how we do. We're at 140. Why don't we flip these? Because right now they're front up. All right, that is 410. Let's see if I can give you that. All right, let's head on inside. Start the clock in there. Set that down right there. Let's get this camera fired up. There we go. Get these in place. That's done. I'm going to go collect my stuff outside here, bring the other camera inside. And while we are waiting here, let's make a special thank you to Sios for sending me that flipper there. That flipper. And I uh, couldn't think of a better tool for this job. I asked them if they'd send me one and they, as always, stepped up to the plate for us. Let's see what the temp is here in this corner. Let's see, we've got 
at 58 degrees. And why don't we throw the heater on over here? More room temperature like. Why not? Just warm things up a little bit. I mentioned that temperature can play a role here. The rules are cold weather means a darker lens with slower reaction times. Hot weather means a less full dark lens with faster cycle times. I know this is exactly like watching paint dry. That is the entire point. I also know that, well, basically, no one is actually going to watch this. I do think that you'll fast forward back and forth a few times, watch the timer, and hopefully see that it is not all back to normal in a matter of seconds or even after five full minutes. Keep in mind here that the timer has been running since I left the garage. I uncovered the lenses outside at about 26 seconds. And I set them on the stand inside at about four minutes and 50 seconds. Got her up to 65 over here. It's a little bit more room temperature like. Make it the trigger those a little bit faster. I think that we could all agree that those are now at a point where you could wear them indoors. Certainly not clear, but wearable. I think we all know that photochromics do tend to trigger quite quickly, but obviously their return to full clear can be quite lengthy.
I now think that we could agree that those are close to clear and perhaps even in different lighting or contrast, you may not even notice them at all. Now, of course, we are here to learn. So what did we learn from that sequence? I think we have a few takeaways here. First, the top row were the T8s, the bottom were the neochromes. And I think it's quite safe to say that they both performed about the same, identical really, and that they are both pretty darn good products. Now, the important takeaway here for opticians is that we have provided you with a unique perspective in real time that you aren't going to get anywhere else. This is not a TV ad or a magazine article. How long does it really take for a photochromic to cycle? Keeping in mind that temperature and lighting can change things. If you watch the clock, it appears that these lenses reached about an 80% sun in about one and a half minutes. They returned to their most clear state in about eight and a half. Just something really important to keep in mind as an optician. It is now time for show and tell where we have our Zeiss Photo Fusion, our Laramie K Flash Photochromics, and our peek at the T8 Signature Colors. Good morning. Yes, it's day two here and we were doing photochromics anyway, so we had some other products we wanted to share. So this little wrap up piece at the end, we're just gonna call show and tell. Now I've got these inside and outside. I'll share both with you. Um, this first one is the Zeiss Freeform Photo Fusion Blue and Photo Fusion Pioneer Green. Let's take a look at those. Out of all of the colors that this stuff comes in, in all the different samples that I've played with here, I think this Zeiss Photo Fusion Blue is really, really a standout. I'm not sure exactly what I would use it for. Maybe like a nice round frame with a little flash mirror, nice flat base curve, kind of cool looking, but. That, that's pretty intense blue. Again, that's the Zeiss Photo Fusion Blue and Pioneer Green. And I, I think that green is really close to a G15. So those are kind of cool. There it is outside as well. All right, let's take a look at something else. All right, I've got my flipper loaded up. We have now got the Essilor's Transition 8 Colors Series, and we have an Amethyst, Emerald, Amber, and Sapphire. Let's see what those look like. Wow, triggers really, really quickly. That's, that's a nice sign. Now I just called those Essilor Transition 8 Colors Series. Um, I did a quick 
check and I'm pretty sure that technically they are supposed to be called the Transitions Signature Style Colors Gen 8s. But to be honest, it gets really confusing really quickly with them. Now the lab sent them because they are supposed to be special, or as I said earlier, differently colored. And yeah, I guess, but you know, put a gun to my head, I see blue-gray, gray, brown, and green. So yeah, maybe a little different, maybe a little more pastel, if you will, but to me, certainly nothing earth-shattering. And there is that series, Outdoors. And one more flipper to go here. And we can wrap up our show and tell. Okay, in this flipper, looking at it this way in the upper left, that would be um, lens E. That's a random single Essilor basic gray green transition seven. And then lenses five, six, and seven are our very own Laramie K optical flash, silver with a gray, blue with a gray, and a gold brown. And I'll show you that flash coat there. Hopefully, yeah, you can pick that up a little bit. See that? All right, let's trigger these. Mirror coats are really, really hard to pick up on camera. So you're not getting the full effect of how cool that looks. All right, so again, we've got a older version, a T7. We just happen to have one laying around, so we went ahead and, went ahead and cut that. And then we have our flash mirrors, uh, gray, gray, and amber on the silver, the gold, and the blue mirror. Pretty cool. There are those, those are the same ones. Those are outside. Give me an idea what it looks like out there. All right, just wanted to share that with you. That wraps up show and tell. As always, thank you so very much for watching. If you're watching me on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Watching us on Facebook, please give us a like. Make sure that every single photochromic lens in your life comes from Laramie K, and I will see you again next week.